Kelly, jurors heard the first testimony from one of R. Kelly's alleged victims. She is Geronda Pace, now 28 years old, but she testified that she first met R. Kelly when she was just 15 at another courthouse when he was on trial in Chicago in 2008 on child pornography charges. He was acquitted in that case. She had gone to the trial to support him. A year later, she testified, he took her virginity. She admitted she lied initially to him, saying she was 19, but soon confessed to him that she was just 16, even showing her her ID, showing him her ID. That did not stop Kelly, though, from continuing the relationship. She said uh, he just told her to act like she's 21. Pace is one of at least five alleged victims expected to testify that not only did Kelly have sex uh, with them, that he also controlled their lives, where they went, what they wore, in what prosecutors say was a criminal enterprise. In fact, they are prosecuting him under laws that are normally reserved for prosecuting mob bosses. Kelly's defense attorney, Nicole Palm Blank Palmer, uh, I'm sorry, Nicole Blank Becker, in her opening statement, insisted the relationships were consensual, and besides, the women's stories are riddled with holes and hidden agendas. Jurors also expected to hear about an alleged victim who is not here to tell her story, the singer Aaliyah, who died in a plane crash in 2001. She and Kelly were briefly married when she was 15. He allegedly paid a bribe to get her a fake ID. Prosecutors said the two were married because Kelly had gotten her pregnant. This trial expected to last about a month. After that, Kelly faces another federal criminal trial in Chicago, which is where he first rose to fame.